we are at the most haunted ship in America, the Queen Mary. You're sh me! It just said B340. I think I'm gonna faint or something. Are you serious? Yeah. Do you like to play pretend? Closet. There are noises literally coming from that closet. <laughs> For this week's video, we are at the most haunted ship in America, the Queen Mary. For the last 60 years, it's been known to have over 150 spirits. I tried ghost hunting once before and it went really well. What was that? What was that? We all know that didn't go well. Why are we doing this again? Okay, we also brought Andrew because Andrew, do you believe in ghosts? Yeah, I do, but I haven't like I haven't seen one and I don't really want to see one. And we also have Amanda with us because we still don't know what we're doing. So I came with you guys to the Whaley house because I know it pretty well. I know the spirits pretty well. And by that, I mean that I'm able to speak to the spirits there and it's no different at the Queen Mary. And I think it would be a crazy night. And we also have our tour guide, Becca. She has all of the keys that we ever need. She's going to be taking us to every haunted place on this ship. You think we're gonna walk away terrified or? You guys? <laughs> yeah. Oh. 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 We first headed to the infirmary, which is an area where either passengers or crew diagnosed with any contagious diseases could be isolated from others while the Queen Mary was at sea. With that being said, this was a location where many people passed away. Okay, so right now we're in the infirmary, and this is where they would put all of the sick people that were on the ship. So I have a feeling that this room has a lot of activity, so we're going to do the Estes method in here. Amanda, do you care to explain what the Estes method is? The Estes method is definitely one of my favorite methods. You're hooked up to a normal AM, FM radio. Someone is going to be blindfolded and attached to noise canceling headphones that's hooked up to the radio. Anything that comes through while we're asking questions, they won't be able to hear our questions, just the answers coming through on the radio. So basically the people that aren't wearing the headphones are going to be asking questions and the person with the headphones on is going to be giving us the answers, if done correctly. And apparently there's a lot of activity in the hallway, so we set up a camera out there and a REM pod and some cat balls, and we're gonna see if any of those go off while we're in here. I'm nervous for this, this room is very creepy. Andrew has never tried the SS method before, so it was only fair that he went first and he immediately heard, Welcome. Oh my God. For real, for real. I feel for like real, you said real. welcome to him. Yeah. Like, like right away. You're happy to speak to my friend Andrew here. He's listening for Tell you. Tell me. My, my screen is like glitching is sometimes. It? Yeah, it just did it for Duke. like, it just did it again. Duke? Is that your name? Is your name Duke? Proud of you. This is Andrew's ancestor talking to him. It's gotta be. Do you know Andrew personally? Bro, this is scary. I don't like this. Andrew's gone quiet. Are you still here? Ancestor, oh my God. Oh! I swear wow. to God. A la verdad, which means the truth. Found the message. Do you have a message for Andrew? You are. You are what? Idolo, which means idol in Spanish. We want to know what you're talking about, you, but you might need to explain it a little bit more. Behind. Um, behind who? Behind what? It's a flash. Behind the flash. Our camera has been glitching this whole time, and there's a light attached to the camera. Do you not like the flash? Oh my god. What? What? Can you give us the name of a person in this room? Cruise. Okay, we're on a cruise ship. We're on a cruise. Is there anything you want to tell us? Glitch. Shut up! Okay, hold up. I just hold got up. chills. I just got hold chills. Up. Hold up. I just Wait. got literal chills. Is there anything you want to tell us? What about we're the glitch? Here. Are you the glitch? Are you the one causing the glitch? If you don't know what we're talking about with the glitch, earlier when we were filming in the room, our cameraman noticed that there was a camera glitch. How many people? One more time, Lexi. How many people? Whoa, 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 hang on. Did you see my, my so camera funny. screen? I totally was watching it. Yeah, it was like moving from it, like, it like completely like Are you serious? glitched out right now. <laughs> Swear to God. Are you trying to break their camera so that they'll be forced to leave? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, can't really hear it too much. Okay, that's good. He said something about flat behind the flash and it's crazy because our camera has been having issues this entire night. That one. The one in the hallway turned off. We had a camera set up in the hallway to catch the REM pod and the cat ball, and apparently it shut off. That's a so fully, that's a fully charged. That's a fully charged. It's fully battery. charged. It was charged. Yeah. Bruh. So it's whoever this is, they're messing with our cameras so that we can leave. Before we even got to ask Amanda any questions using the Estes method, Amanda began hearing responses immediately. It just said B three forty. Shut up! I swear, B three forty. So clear. 
Oh my god, no, I do not want to go there. Later in this video, we will be taking a visit to room B340. B340 is the most haunted room on the ship and is known to have the most paranormal activity. Next, we headed down below the ship to the first class pool, where a little girl named Jackie was believed to have died. It's not available to the public, which is why the door is chained up. I'm like shocked that you guys are getting into the pool room. This is crazy. How long has the pool been closed off to people? The first class swimming pool has been off limits in any public capacity since at least 2018. We've been able to find a space so that we can go into the pool and investigate. And also, this area has been shut down since 2018. As far as I'm aware, a hard shutdown since 2018. So you're one of the first few public investigations to be able to come back into the space and investigate and look directly for Jackie once again. All right, well. Jackie. Jackie. Marco. Bella. <laughs> So we brought this guy because if Jackie is anywhere between the ages of 5 and 10, talking to us might be a little weird. You don't talk to strangers, but maybe a stuffed bear, cute, unassuming, maybe this is a bit more comfortable to interact with. Hi, I'm Boo Buddy. What's your name? Potentially facilitating that EVP. If he hears something, he'll say, what? What did you say? Something about the echo of this space. He's did you been say something? Could you please say it again? There you go. As we were learning how the Boo Buddy worked, we started to hear noises outside the hallway. That's what we were hearing. This is the noise we were hearing earlier. If anybody's here with us, I brought back Mr. Bear. You can touch him and he'll let us know if you're talking to us. We then headed up to a suite that hasn't been investigated before, haunted by a famous ghost, Winston Churchill. He used this room as a war room during World War II. One of the maids claimed to have seen his ghost sitting in this room. So the orange box I've placed here, it says 74.0 because that is the degrees in Fahrenheit. It takes uh, blue and red for exactly what you think. Yellow and green, yellow is pressure, green is humidity. I will tell you yellow is the thing that I have had them interacting with the most. So you probably want to keep your eye on that yellow there because it has started responding in really direct responses. I would also like to point out that it is freezing in this room, whereas every other place we've gone to on the ship has been like really hot. So I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. So we've placed a number of cat balls around the room in different locations where we thought Winston Churchill might be most active. Churchill appears again, smoking a cigar. This thing right here should go off like yeah, that. Yeah, it'll go off like that. He just walked in the room with us through that doorway. They were dressed in all white. Oh, here we go, Amanda. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's dead serious. Definitely like. a little bit shorter than you are. Uh, kind of on the thin side, but not like where he's frail. Just doesn't look healthy almost. I feel like he did work on the ship. After 10 minutes of waiting, none of our equipment was working. So we decided to do the Estes method. Can we not do this? No, we have to do this. What if we hear something? Like actually. Good. We probably will. <laughs> Good. So how does it work if both of them are doing it at the same time? I'm putting one of them on a forward sweep and one of them on a reverse sweep. So they're not going to be listening to the same radio stations at the same time. So if they say the same word at the same time, that's not how the radio sweep works. Yeah. Then that so, would be just insane. And I think the reason that we're doing it in this location is so important is because you guys happen to be right under Winston Churchill's portrait. He's the most famous ghost that haunts this room. Okay, hey, the boys have their headphones Care on. Carabout. Okay, we haven't asked anything, and he already said care about. What do you care about? What the What? I heard Jeremy. For real? Yeah. Because you're talking to Jeremy or because you care about Jeremy? Did it for defense. This was war times. What, what did you do for defense? Do you know anything about the man in white who came in this room? Dead. He was, he was a spirit. Do you know his name or what he did here? Enemies. Is there something that you want to get across while you It sounds like, like gun shooting. His whole thing has been war related. Yeah. Pray. Pray. So Jeremy said pray. Andrew said pray right after. Your feet up. When you pray on your knees, your feet are up. Just to reinforce this, they're listening to two completely different radio stations, so. And they can't hear each other or what no. we're asking. So the praying thing is absolutely crazy. Do you stay here in this room? Yeah. So he is 
was talking to Winston Churchill. Yellow light. Yellow Yellow light. light. Go away. Do you want us to leave? If you tell us to go or leave, we'll go and leave right now. Oh my god. What? Time to start? I said Amanda. Really? Yeah. I oh. swear to god. Well, so let's, let's go, go Amanda. Amanda. Let's go. Hang tight. No, we're good. We're done. <laughs> Our final destination was room B340, which is the most haunted room on the ship. But when we entered the room, this happened. Like, that's why I'm not, like, barely talking. I just feel weird. What do you feel like? <laughs> like I feel like I'm gonna faint or something. Are you serious? But yeah. We were just about to start the SS method, and Andrew started to feel sick, like he was gonna faint. So he stepped out to go get some water. And you guys, like, he genuinely, like, doesn't feel good. Like, whatever's in here is, like actually taking a toll on our bodies like i felt it when i walked in jeremy felt it and andrew literally had to step out so what is that jeremy are you gonna protect i'm trying me? to stay calm i'm, I'm staying <laughs> confident right now <laughs> i'm flexing pose. i'm flexing i just want to start by opening a line of communication with the spirits of queen mary in the room b340 if you're here with us now you can do something to make yourself known you can say your name something about yourself just We'll give you some time. Hotel? This did open up as a hotel recently. It was shut. Run. Is there anything that we should run from? Anything that we need to be worried about? Death. Did you say death? Death again. There's a lot of rumors of death here, but... Yeah, it's happening right in the closet. Yeah. Can you tell us where you are? Bro. Okay, sorry, that scared the shit out of me. What? I just heard like a like a like a scream. Right after we like heard something over there, she like got scared. You hear that over there? By like the closet? Yeah, multiple things. So we'd like to start talking again, specifically this time to the spirit that's making the tapping noises in the closet. Are you here with us? No. Yeah. No, and then it tapped in the closet. Can you tell us something about yourself? We want to speak to the spirit of room B340. Get ready. Get ready for what? Nine. This was a World War II ship. There was. POWs on here, like nine is in no, like German. Were you here when this was a uh, World War II ship, the Grey Ghost? Does that name sound familiar to you? And it says Grey Ghost on his mask. Forgotten about? Forgotten about what? Closet. What? Who's in the closet? Coming. Are you coming into this room with us? Yes. Can you tell us what your name is? Or who you are? Oh. It sounded like it just came into the room with us. Coming yeah. now. Should we come to the closet to meet you in there? Would that be easier? Yeah. So whoever was talking to Andrew told us to go closer to the closet. So we're in the closet now, but the Estes method won't work here because there's no signal. So we put a REM pod in here and I'm gonna show you how it works. Basically, if something is near it, and then if something touches it, if anything is near or touching this REM pod, we are for sure going to know. So we're gonna continue with the Estes method with Andrew and we're getting him as close to the closet as we possibly can. I'm actually nervous, okay. Let's see it. So why Internal. Did... Oh, okay. <laughs> so why did you want us to go closer to the closet? Are you in the closet? Same thing. I was gonna ask if we were speaking to the like same thing and that we were before. Okay, so we're speaking to the same thing that was in the closet before. You were willing to come out? No. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Is that because you want us to go in the closet? Obviously. Why do you want us to go in the closet with you? What are your intentions? Ooh. Do you hear that? Like it? Yeah. The noise in the closet? Yeah. Will you please come Running. Back? Oh my god. Oh my it god. said that earlier too. Did Andrew go in the closet? Is there something you want us to finish? Is there something you need to finish?
bro, I hear so many noises. Come try. Come try what? sitting in the closet? Come on. Come on what? You want us to go to the closet? Understand. We're trying to understand. We just need you to be a little more clear. No. I feel like it's getting angry. Yeah, I think so too. Do you not want us here? Do you not like visitors being in this room? Kinda. If you're in that closet, can you step near either of the devices that we've placed down in there? Sanctuary. Holy sh**. What? Snakes. Snakes are the sign of demonic things. Hey, ride. If you're in the closet, can you To go the right. <laughs> to our right. It's directly to our right. How many spirits are in this room with us right now? Head. Closet. You keep talking about the closet. What about the closet? We're waiting. Okay, well, we don't want to go in the closet, but if you're in there... We're close. Is that a noise in that? Yeah. I Standing. That. Okay. A thousand dollars. Wasn't I saying if you go in there that I'd okay, give you a thousand dollars? There's so many noises from inside my closet. Challenge. <laughs> Wow. I was literally talking. I don't, were we filming that? We weren't, uh, we, right? We might have been. <clears throat> I was saying, I was like, how much money for you to go into that closet and close the door? And I was offering amounts of money. And I said $1,000. I said I would lock it. Should Andrew go in the closet and Bro, close the door? No. I can't do that. For how much would you do it for? And stay in there for 10 minutes. What challenge do you want to do? Just explain what you want to do when we're in the closet. With one First word. one. Can you give a name? Little one. <laughs> scared. Holy You're no! Scared. I might want even, you to go in there. No, because I actually can't even like think straight right now. It's, it was like kind of making sense, but I don't know. If, I no, don't it, it was. Like, Andrew, you know what? Do you know what happened just now? No. You. We said. We said. Who do you want to go in there? And you said little one. I jumped up and I hid behind Jeremy, and then you kept hearing scared. The thing is, is, I was already in there, and he didn't want to hang out with me, so I'm not going back in. Yeah, I feel like you should talk to him now. When I was getting ready to do the Estes method, something terrifying happened. Always and challenge, I was like offering money, it. they said challenge. Oh! Said, oh my god! Got something physically grabbing it. Or EMF. The ramp pod literally went off, you guys know what that means. There's something in there. After Andrew's experience, I think it's only fair for me to do this again. You Please. said you wanted the little one. So she is listening. Hi. Could you tell us what you wanted with the little one? Did you want to talk to Lexi or have her go in that closet? You kept on mentioning the closet. What is the closet? Meant to be. Why? Why is it meant to be? What do you want with Lexi? Do you like communicating with me? That was instant. Or Lexi. Okay. Do you want me to talk to you instead? Lex? Let's. I heard Lex. I'm not even kidding. I asked like, do you want to keep talking to me? And it said either let's or Lex. Well, let's pretend it said let's <laughs> and not do that again. Okay, whoever is speaking through the headset loves talking to Andrew, so we're putting it back on Andrew and we're just gonna ask a few more final questions. Before we leave, we, we need to head out of here soon. Is there anything else that you want to communicate with us or tell us? Same thing. The yeah, same thing okay, well, we don't want to go into the closet. I think he's still referring to the closet. Is there another part of the ship that you want us to go to right now? I want it. Can you be a little more specific? What do you want? We'll say something and then you'll tell us if you want little it. Little one. <clears throat> On that note. Okay, <laughs> take it off. I'm done. Forget. Forget. Hey, everyone, let's go. What? Let's go now, they please. Said, they don't want to get yeah, blood. we know, we know, we but know like, what they what? said. But we asked, we said, what do you want? Can you be more specific? And you said, little one. Oh my god. What is that? Shut up. You're shitting me! This is not real! This is not real! This is not real. We had a lot of activity in B340, and this time only one of us 
is gonna go in. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's actually a really, Not really good. bad idea. I think you should go in because I kept on saying I wanted the little one to yeah. go in there. Yeah, but they talked to Andrew a lot, so maybe they want Andrew to go in. And they told me the little one too. We'll make it fair. I'll think of a number one through 10. You don't want to pick it. Okay. Four, nine. One. <laughs> Sorry, lying. little one. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm not going in there. Like, what is the goal here? How, how long do I have to be in here? I'm gonna... <sighs> so... There are noises literally coming from that closet. It's like rattling noises. Sounds like someone's trying to open something. I hear one more noise. That closet... <laughs> We were out here. We were here the whole time. What are you talking about? All right, so that was our experience at America's most haunted ship, the Queen Mary. What did you guys think? I don't want to go back to that room. <laughs> I don't want to go back inside. Yeah, I'm never going to get anywhere close to this place ever again. It's just whenever I leave any haunted location, like, they're people, this is their place. I want to go back home to my place and be left alone, so I always set my boundaries. I tell them they need to stay here. They're not welcome to follow me out of this place, into my car, into my home, anything like that. I suggest you guys do the same. Yeah. Nobody can follow me home, please. <laughs> Nobody can follow me back home. Nobody wants to follow you home. <laughs> good. Hey, good. In this situation, that's fine. <laughs> Come through. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, don't. Don't. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, so today I will be spending 24 hours on a boat. This video is going to be a pretty crazy. Crazy? Do you get it? No? Okay. If you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now and let's get started. Woo! All right, so here we are. This is the boat that I will be spending the next 24 hours on. So let's get on this thing. And we're on. Okay, you guys, so recently Lexi Hansler moved into a new house and it's on the water, kind of near where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna give her a call and see if she wants to come and hang out with me for a little bit. Hello. Hey. Hey, what's up? Do you wanna come hang out with me at my new house? Oh my God, new house? Yeah, I, I moved in somewhere. I'm gonna be what? staying here for a little while. I can send you the location if you wanna come. I would suggest oh God, yeah. I would suggest you like come by boat, like if you wanna drive your Duffy over. What? Yeah. Okay, you're crazy. Just send me your location. Okay, I'll send you my location. Alright, so now we wait for Lexi. Okay guys, so Lexi just pulled out on her Duffy. Welcome to my house for the next 24 hours. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. <laughs> Once you get on this boat, you can't leave for 24 hours. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, Lexi, so I'm gonna be spending the next 24 hours on this boat. Wow! Yeah, so basically, I'm stranded at sea for the next 24 hours. That's not what stranded means. Well, technically, I can't leave the boat. So I'm stranded on the boat. Like, okay, then that's fine. Okay, let's that's do fine. it. <laughs> Alright, so that I'm was hungry. What? I'm hungry. Already? Yeah. I was planning on like post mating food and then I realized how am I supposed to post mate food if I'm like on the water in the boat? So basically I have fishing poles and we're gonna we're gonna fish. You know, I thought you were inviting me over to go out to like a nice brunch. <laughs> <laughs> how about we give this a shot? Oh, boy. oh god. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Lexi. Woo! Wow. I think I broke it. You did? Oh yeah, that doesn't look right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we've been here for a while. Still haven't caught anything. Alright, so Lexi's hanging out in the front of the boat and obviously we're not having any luck with this fishing thing, so how about we pull a prank instead? <laughs> okay, so I have this little shark toy. I'm gonna be like, shark, shark, and get Lexi's reaction. Let's do it. It's a nice day out, huh? I wish we were like out on the water. Shark! Yeah, maybe shark. soon. Shark! What? Where? Right there! Right here! Ah! I missed. <laughs> <laughs> you are going overboard. Me, I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the shark. <laughs> okay, Lexi, guess what? what? I caught a fish when I was fishing. I did. There, I caught a lot of them, actually. <laughs> All right, I think we're just going to kind of chill out, hang out for a little bit. Need to get a tan. Uh, we're not going anywhere. Let me drive the boat. <laughs> it 
it's been 28 days and 13 hours. So yeah, we turned into pirates because we've been out here for so long. <laughs> but while we're dressed like this, I thought it'd be fun to prank call our friends and just sit there and get their reaction. We've been out here for so long, we turned into pirates. Good luck. Thanks, I'll need it. All right, bye. Okay, now we're gonna FaceTime Ben. Are you guys pirates? Where are you? Are you like on set for like Pirates of the Caribbean? Or <laughs> Don't worry. Hello, love. Hello. You guys are always doing something stupid. I swear. We've been stranded here for 13 days. We have scurvy. All right. Bye, Ben. Later, Chris. Good luck. Don't die. Thank you. Everyone's saying good luck. Everyone's so worried about us. <laughs> oh my god! Why are you dressed like that? Why do you look like you're gonna steal all my money? <laughs> Why? Because we are, mate! <laughs> oh my god! Pearson, help us! <laughs> Alright, see you, Pearson! Bye. Okay, so since pirates and we've been out here stranded at sea and it's been about five or six hours and i thought it'd be fun to write little postcards to our mom fingers crossed it makes it to them yeah okay and they're in and here's our message in a bottle i guess we'll send it off and hope that these messages get to who we want them to get to yeah because that works like that yeah right so now what should we do i'm leaving no thank you so much for hanging out with me i You're really well enjoyed done. it <laughs> so long lexi Okay, so I've just kind of been hanging out here on my phone. Um, it's gotten a lot colder and I'm really, really hungry because Lexi ate all my food. All right, so I think I'm gonna call Andrew and see if maybe he can bring me some food and just keep me company. <laughs> hey, do you think that maybe you could bring me some food at my new house? Wait, so I'm at your new house? Yeah, um, I'm living on a yeah. boat for 24 hours, so I would right. love if you could bring me some pizza. Uh, sure. Send me the address to your new house and I'll be right over. Okay, it doesn't have an address yet. I'm still working on that, you know, my new house. I'll send you my location. Yay, thank gosh. I'm starving. Why am I here? This is your challenge. I literally haven't eaten all day. All right, you guys. They're here with my food. This is where I am staying for the next 24 hours. Wait, 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 Andrew. Why would we do that if we could just enjoy the pizza off the boat and she doesn't get any? Oh, yeah, because technically she has to stay there. Yeah. So. Do not do that to me. Wait, you guys, this is not fair. This is so mean. Okay, so now that you guys are already here, I thought that maybe you could stay for a little bit. And I thought that maybe we could have a jousting tournament and see who falls in the water first. Wait, what? what? I'll yeah. play the winner of you two. No, me and Andrew are gonna gang up against you. Yeah, Let's go. Wait, wait, no. Three, two, one, joust. Ow. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. I got it! Did no, I just get it? it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm up against her. Why did I invite you guys? <laughs> Alright, time for the next activity. This is my cue to leave. What? what? I'm out. What? You can't leave, Brent. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Brent. Yeah, yeah. Wish me luck. Yeah. All right, you guys. So it is now dark outside. Um, I've been on this boat all day and I'm going a little crazy. But Andrew, I did bring some playing cards. Oh, so nice. what do you say we just play cards? Play some cards. Right. <laughs> you have a two. <laughs> go fish. All right. Where are you going? No, <laughs> go fish. Like, no, that's not literal. <laughs> Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, he caught something. Oh, it's pulling him. <laughs> How about we do we do one more activity, and then you can leave, and then I'll go to bed. So I brought some nail polish. So, Andrew, what do you say I paint your nails? Let's do it. I'm okay. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Andrew. What? I'm going to Yo, wait. Why do Andrew's feet smell like Funyuns? <laughs> Okay, there, there you go. Here are Andrew's toenails. Okay, so Andrew, I painted your nails, we played cards, and I think I'm like tired now. I mean, I've been on here all day. It's time for me to go to sleep. How about we play rock paper scissors, and if you lose, oh you have to stay with me. Rock paper scissors. Shoot. <laughs> Ew. Okay, 
wait, never mind. You can just go. Okay, you guys, so it is around 1 a.m. I think it is definitely time for me to go to sleep now. This is like my little bed area for the night. I have, you know, my pillow, my blanket, all that good stuff. So now I think I'm just gonna try to go to sleep and hopefully I will see you guys in the morning. So yeah, good night. Good morning. Okay, you guys, so I just woke up. It is about 7 a.m. and I slept pretty well. It was a little bit cold, but other than that, not bad. You guys, did I just complete this 24-hour challenge? All right, you guys, so I just completed this 24-hour challenge and I literally cannot wait to get off this boat. For this week's video, we are gonna be going to a $1 trampoline park and a $100,000 trampoline park. But as I began the research, I ran into a problem. $1 trampoline parks don't exist. So I decided to take it upon myself to make my own. But then I ran into another problem. I don't know how to make a trampoline park. So I hopped in my car and visited my local trampoline park to see exactly what I needed to make my own. Hmm, pricing, interesting. They give you stocks here, noted. Like 20 minutes. Customers, very important. I'm gonna go get a ball. Don't get the ick from this, okay, please. If I make this, you guys have to subscribe. <laughs> first try. It wasn't first try. No, it was. You guys have to subscribe now. Do it. Do it! Oh, it smells like sweat in here. Thank God for the grippy socks. Am I tall enough? Whew. How do I stop this thing? They even have vending machines here. And I know a thing or two about vending machines. Dippin' Dots, you know, I love these things, but I probably shouldn't. Mm. All right, I think I'm ready to make my own trampoline park. Come on, let's bounce. That looks pretty good, right? What is it? What does it say? And we're open for business. Right here we have our very own foam pit. Behind me we have the world's biggest trampoline. It says my first trampoline. Yeah, like it's the first trampoline to be the biggest in the entire world. I have an abundance of trampolines right here. There's only four. You know, it's not about how many there are. Sometimes it's about how much fun you're having. And here we have a mattress. It may not be a trampoline, but it, it bounces. Lexi's trampoline park is officially Open! I waited over an hour for anyone to show up, and the only person that showed up was Jeremy. And I had to pay Brent to be there. One dollar kisses? Sign me up. Yeah. yeah. No. Can you read? This is a trampoline park. What am I doing here? I brush my teeth, deodorant, everything. Oh my god. Okay, before you guys start to have fun, I have to give you your guys' jumping songs. You can't jump without these. Hey, are these new, or did you find these like on the side of the road? Where did you get these socks? Jeremy, I actually found those in your closet. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah? Oh. It, it, it take a smell then. Oh, 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 oh! Let's go, Brent! I'm gonna jump into the foam pit. Let's go! Right, jump go. in there! Three, two, two one! Woo! Oh. oh, ah! There's like not enough foam in here. I'm coming! Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh my god! What even is this? It's like an inflatable pool with like styrofoam in it. This is the foam pit. All right, Lexi, I'm not getting paid enough for this. Wait, she paid you to be here? No. And I got tricked. All right, hey, I have a question. What? Why does it say my first birthday? Jeremy, is this my first trampoline? There's a danger notice, and it says no one over 80 pounds jump on it. Jeremy's like what? 200 pounds? Yeah. Why would you put these trampolines here when you knew that we we're gonna come? These were the cheapest ones I could find. Jeremy. 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 Oh. Woo! Bro, I'm literally, I'm literally hitting the ground every single time. This is seeping all the way to the ground right here. I'm gonna be leaving you a negative review on Yelp. Come on, don't do that. And you're a liar. No, I'm not. Hey, we have a bathroom. Wait, can I use it, actually? Um, no. No, for it, it's for here. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, but not for you. I need to use the bathroom, so can you look away? Jeremy, please don't. Hey, there's plenty of space for two. For me or Brent? Oh, it's 
whoever's closest, maybe. There you oh. go. Oh, oh, okay, it's okay. Oh, okay. Jerry. Hey. It's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't mean that. This is the worst trampoline park I've ever been to. Why do you even invite us to here? Yeah. This whole place is like a safety hazard. I almost fell through that trampoline. It only cost a dollar to get in here. What did you guys expect? He took the socks with him. I'm not leaving until I get what I came here for. Jeremy, you are. You're leaving. Come on. No, you're leaving. Hey, you literally promised it in your advertisement. I did are you not. serious? Since Brett and Jeremy didn't like my trampoline park, I had to at least see if a little kid would like it. Since she's getting paid to be here, what about me? <clears throat> okay. You wanna have fun? Yeah. Hey, Gigi, look at this trampoline. Is the foam pit? Is that cool? Yeah. No. No? Because the trampoline park sucks. Why are you still here? Do you really not like the trampoline park? No. Yeah. Well, at, at least you're honest. Okay, you can go now. <clears throat> oh, that hurt. Apparently opening a trampoline park is a lot harder than it seems. I mean, things broke, no one had fun. A three-year-old took my money. I Hopefully I can bounce back from this. So I sold my car, took out a loan, and flew 17 hours to the world's most expensive trampoline park. Not only do you have to fly 17 hours to get here, but you have to make a reservation for this trampoline park really far in advance. This mattress is not as good as the one from my trampoline park. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that my trampoline park is gonna be better than this Singapore one. I was wrong. Well, we made it. The world's most expensive trampoline park. Let's check in, get our grip socks. Let's bounce. Not only do you have to make a reservation, but you have to pay extra money for grip socks. I tried to tell you guys, these things are pretty cool. You also needed to have a kid to enter, so I had Brent meet me in Singapore. Wait, that's why I'm here? So Brent, I have a to-do list. Uh-huh. Number one, break as many rules at this trampoline park as I possibly can without getting caught. Must wear socks at all times. All right, well, I'll break this one right now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <gasps> oh my god, okay. That rule should not be broken. Number two, no eating. I'm gonna have Brent do this one because I want him to get in trouble. We're going up the thing right now. I have a snack in my pocket. This is like the strictest country, so I don't know why Lexi's making me do this. Me too. Ah! Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So we need to leave right now. Yes, please. We have to kick you out. Okay. <laughs> have a good one. Rule number three: no smoking. Another rule broken because I'm smoking hot. I see, stop. Stop. <clears throat> Another rule is you have to hold the railing while you're coming down the stairs. <laughs> Another rule broken. Rule number four, no stealing. Come here. Well, I guess it's mine now. Dude, 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 wrong camera. What? Wrong camera. Whose camera did I dude, just steal? I don't know. Oh my god. This place had some of the craziest trampolines I've ever seen. I wasn't kidding. I'm literally on the screen. Next on our to-do list, there's a lot of games here. So let's go beat Brent at every single one of yeah, them. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. All right, let's play some soccer. <gasps> Yo, she is so bad. No, I'm not. Boo! He's not good. Oh, there's only seven seconds left, Lexi, and you've gotten 100 points. This is getting sad. 100 points. She's not good at all. Oh, what the? Oh, 200. Oh, what the? Oh! Foul! Frank got a foul! 400 points! But you got a foul, so it doesn't count. I won, Lexi, sorry. Frank got 400 points, I got 100. Isn't looking too nice good. Nice try. We're not done yet. Let's bounce. They have archery here. My inner Katniss Everdeen's gonna come out right here. Watch this. Ow. All right, apparently I was holding the bow the wrong way. So now we're gonna do it. All right, watch this. Whoa! Not bad. Okay, well watch this. <gasps> ah! I'm, I'm really good. I'm really good at archery. Huh? Let's bounce. Brent, do you think this is better than the trampoline park I made at home? That wasn't a trampoline park. Yes, it was. No, that was not even close. This is a trampoline park. Noted. Let's bounce. Next on the to-do list, confront an annoying kid. Excuse me, do you think you could stop being annoying? I think you need to confront him. <laughs> Grip socks! Well, they have a vending machine, but it's not gonna get me this time. Next on the to-do list, have some fun. Good luck in there, he's throwing some real heat. 
Oh, that's one thing he didn't beat me at. Well, we just went to the world's most expensive trampoline park, and now I have the world's smelliest socks. So I took my socks all around Singapore as a reminder that money isn't everything. Because no matter the price, cheap, expensive, average, trampoline parks will always have one thing in common. One thing that everyone knows and loves. Grip socks. And ungrateful three-year-olds. Oh. Holy crap. Oh my god. Wait, what? This house is 14,000 square feet and it's on five acres of land. Let's do a house tour. This might take a while. The living room, a bedroom, toilet number one. Will you excuse me for a second? It's gross. Another bathroom, another bedroom, another bathroom, another bedroom. Go on, go on without me. Leave me here. How many bathrooms do we need? The library. Don't act like you know how to read. It's also color. Colored coated. Another bathroom. The, the bunk, bunk bedroom. The kitchen. Another kitchen. Another bathroom. Bro, close the door. Ew. This place even comes with its own gaming room. It has a ping pong table, a pool table, an air hockey table, five arcade games, basketball. <laughs> first try. That wasn't the first try. <laughs> poker table, a popcorn machine, and three TVs. But the coolest thing is, it has its own movie theater. Shh, this is my favorite part. No. Not that, this. <laughs> Subscribe. And finally, the master bedroom. Brent? Yeah, what's up? What are you doing? The house comes with a complimentary massage. I had to take advantage of it. Come on. Well, this is the master bedroom. You mean my bedroom. No, I mean the master bedroom. And this is the master bathroom. <laughs> Boom! Oh my gosh! <laughs> this property is so big that we have to take a golf cart just to get to the tennis court. This house comes with a golf cart? <laughs> like what? We're going off-roading on the property. <laughs> A bad driver, please help me. We have arrived at the tennis courts on our golf cart. We're gonna play some tennis. Well, I'm gonna play some tennis. Why do I have to wear this? And where's my racket? You won't need one. No, ow, ow, stop. Lexi, ow, oh, oh, ow, ow, no, ow, ow, no, no, ow. This isn't how you play tennis. I'm sorry, Brent. But I'm having too much fun. This pool is over a hundred feet long and it comes with a water slide. Woo! Oh my god! This house is used for a lot of parties, so they have entertainment on call. Oh, I guess we have a magician coming. Hey! Who said magic? This house does come with magic. See anything funny in this car? Right in the center. Hopefully, if it works out. Oh my gosh! Hello! What? The resident bird. It comes with the house. Wow, this house really does come with everything. One. One. Two. two three. Point. Ah! Oh! Oh, oh snap! Oh. Right there, there's another one. Oh my! I have a feeling he's making this house haunted. And my birds, look at that. They've been busting their beak for you. You know what I need more than anything? What does a magician need other than birds? A uh, magic wand. Close. You need a bunny. And right there, my friend. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Is a real bunny. And this is root beer flow. Where, Where do the birds, the birds go? <laughs> birds have turned into the bunny. Okay. Enjoy. You might see me pop up now and then. The house also has its own mini golf course. Hey, watch this shot. Oh, four. What? This is mini golf, not bad golf. Go ahead and delete that clip. Oh my gosh. They don't call me Tiger for nothing. This is a mini golf course. First try. Lexi, that wasn't first try. No, it, it definitely was. We ditched the golf cart and decided to walk over to the barn. See you in 30 minutes. So this is the barn. It has 18 stalls, but yet no animals. Not so fast. What about root beer? What? What are you still doing here? It comes with the house. He, I, he did say that. He did. He did <laughs> mention that. There's even a bedroom inside the barn. And this is where Brent's going to sleep because he's a pig. What? You're not funny. Wait, where are you going, Brent? This is your room. 
Brian and I are gonna play hide and seek, and the person who gets found in the quickest time has to pay for this Airbnb. I am not paying for this Airbnb. It goes for about twenty thousand dollars a night. Oh my god! You don't want to pay. You better get to hiding. You I have don't, five I don't, minutes. I don't agree to this game. Starting now. Close your eyes then. Okay, go. Okay, so I'm in the bunk room right now. I don't know if there's there's like these little drawers right here. Oh, but they don't. Does it come out? Oh. Can I fit? Let's see. I don't think I can fit in here. Wait, I have to put that back. You know, I just thought about this. This could have been a bad idea to play hide and seek because this house is on five acres of land. We might never find Brent. Wait. We might never find Brent. That's not the worst thing in the world, right? That's a pretty good thing if you ask me. Oh, what's here? What is this? Oh, what the? Okay, not in there. Okay, so I could hide in a laundry room. Um, I don't know if there's maybe. Any... Oh, oh, that's a nice hiding spot with like the vacuum and stuff. Totally works. I feel like this house is so big, but outside it's like it's dark right now, so I feel like it's gonna be even harder for her to find me outside. So I'm gonna go outside. It's kind of crazy to think that this game of hide and seek could end in me losing twenty thousand dollars. <sighs> Hopefully his hiding spot isn't good. Okay, so we're outside. Literally, this place is massive. It's like a hotel. So, like I feel like anywhere outside is gonna be even a better better hiding spot than inside the house. I I honestly kind of hope that I don't find Brent because I want to enjoy this house all to myself. What the? This is the movie theater? Okay, how about this? Um, where is there a place to hide? I think I'm gonna hide in the movie theater behind the chairs. Right now I'm in between the seats and the floor. I don't think she's gonna be able to find me. No way. This isn't the most comfortable spot though. Kind of hurts my back. All right, Brent's time is officially up. Let's start looking. Okay, Brent would be hiding in this toilet. Ew, not in there. Who did that? Gotcha! Not Brent. <laughs> Brent's not strong enough to open these, so he's definitely not in here. Nope, nope, nope. And nope. He could be outside, so let's check out there. Like I said, this property is five acres and I'm not wasting any time. Brent! Brent! I am not seeing him. Oh, I thought that was him, but it was just a pig. Okay, no sign of Brent, but we're gonna keep looking because I want him to pay for this Airbnb. Otherwise, I'm gonna be broke. Okay, we are now in the gaming room, and this seems like somewhere Brent would hide because he likes to play games, especially with Pearson. Those two need to get it together. <laughs> what? Play games? I don't play any games. Brent used to play hockey, which makes me think he could be under this air hockey table. Brent! 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 I don't think he was in there at all. I ended up just hurting myself. Gaming room, doesn't seem like it. Let's check the movie theater. Okay, I don't think Brent would be able to fit in any of these. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't look. Hey, I'm gonna jump on this beanbag, Brent. I really thought he was gonna be in that one. Like, I actually did. Not in the beanbag. Brent, Brent. <gasps> hey, cameraman saw me first. You've been found. Okay, I found Brent in 11 minutes and 34 seconds. Brent, do you think that you could beat that time? Yeah, I can. Uh, I don't think so. I'm pretty good at hide and seek. Go oh, hide. Your time starts now. I'm counting to five minutes. Go. Now. Five, four, three, Jesus. two, one. All right. Okay, it is now my turn to hide. I kind of have an idea of where I want to hide, but let's see if it works. Okay, I'm going to see if I can fit in this dryer. I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah. The dryer is not gonna work. Let's keep looking. Okay, this mirror that is actually a closet looks pretty spacious. This could very well work, but I don't know. I'm just not sold on this spot, so we're gonna keep looking. Okay, let me know if you guys can see me. I definitely broke something. This is not the spot for me. Okay, I think I found the perfect hiding spot. Check this out. The only problem, there's a lot of cleaning supplies in here, so let's clean this out and see if I fit. Okay, it is pretty much all cleared out. Let's see if I fit. This is officially my hiding spot, and I think it's a pretty good one. Confident in it, and Brent's pretty stupid, so I don't think he's gonna find me. Brent, you're supposed to be looking for Lexi. Oh, I forgot. Okay, um, we're just gonna count out the movie theater in the game room because obviously, like, she's not in here. Okay, there's literally five acres of land. She's so tiny, she can be anywhere. Okay, we're gonna go into the house, I guess, and check. I think I hear Brent. Okay, not in the bathroom. The laundry room? Nope, not in the laundry room. Yeah, this is like the second kitchen, not even the bunk room. Um, let's go in here. Honestly, guys, I cannot risk paying $20,000 for this house. I think I'm gonna make a run for it. Um, Lexi. Nope, this house is literally so massive. I don't know how I'm gonna find her. Wait, hey, Lexi! 
touch me. It's not me, Brett. I'm sorry. What are you doing? I can't be Brett. I'm sorry. <laughs> she literally just drove off in the golf cart. So I guess now you have to pay for it. I'm not paying for this.